The Folger Shakespeare Library in Washington houses some 260,000 books and 60,000 manuscripts, forming the world's largest Shakespeare collection. But the staff at the Folger want to emphasize that the work of arguably the world's most famous dramatist must always be made to leap off the page for every new generation. When kids say, ah, it's so complicated, I'm not going to be able to understand it, then you have Romeo saying, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? Or you have Juliet's father saying, hang me, young baggage, disobedient wretch. I mean, people, they get it. People know what that means. And when they start there, they don't ever think of it as dusty or fusty. The Folger also includes a theatre which has been adapted for a new production of Richard III so that the audience sits on all sides of the action known as In the Round. The lead actor, Drew Cortez, is also a teacher who explains to his students that Shakespeare's words saturate our culture from rap music to hit TV shows. The fact that there are so many shows that reference Shakespeare today, House of Cards, so help me God being so chief me. among them. Let's make him suffer. I don't know whether to be proud or terrified. Because of the devices that they use and, and how closely those characters, I mean, that's Lady Macbeth and Richard III if they ended up getting together, basically, right? Um, I, I feel like it's, I, I'm always blown away by how many kids scratch their heads like, this is from Shakespeare? I, didn't, I had no idea that was from Shakespeare. I mean, it, it's everywhere. As part of the celebrations of his birth, the Folger has launched an exhibition called Shakespeare's The Thing. It contains prized artefacts from the collection, which along with the textual works also includes 250,000 playbills and 90,000 prints, drawings, photographs and paintings. This exhibition tries to show not just Shakespeare in his own time, but Shakespeare all the way through to the 20th century and how people are still uh, thinking about him and having fun with him and adapting him and translating him and uh, relating to him in all different ways. We're thinking about how Shakespeare was really present in every new media that came about. Having digitized over 70,000 images in their collection, the Folger has now developed a series of tablet apps for use by those studying five of Shakespeare's most popular plays. The apps feature interactive elements along with embedded audio of Folger actors and interpretations of the text by scholars. Kids can make comments, they can put study groups together and they can make comments to each other. So it, it, it starts with the text and then it adds some wonderful tools, but enables them to manipulate it and move it around, discuss with other people, comment on pieces of text in a, in a terrific way. Contemporary scholars agree that Shakespeare's status as an unparalleled writer should not obscure us to the fact that he was also a populist, a businessman and an innovator. The spirit of that legacy lies at the heart of the celebrations of his 450th birthday. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV at the Folger Theatre in Washington.